Hey everyone, I'm out here in my garden because it's sunflower harvesting time. Yep, I'm standing underneath the shade on a ladder of a beautiful head of sunflowers seeds, which are underneath these gorgeous composite flowers. You see all that? There are the sunflower seeds. This particular head is maybe not quite yet ready to cut down, but I have several more in my garden that are ready. And I'd like to take you on a tour of the four different varieties of sunflowers that I planted. They were all giant varieties. They are Paradrovic, Titan, like this one, Skyscraper, and Russian Mammoth. So come along, it's time to save seeds from sunflowers. Here's one. This one might be the biggest one of all. You can see that this giant seed head is gonna produce many 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 seeds this one happens to be the titan sunflower that i planted i planted i started all these from seed the four different varieties that i have and transplanted them within one or two days of each other very impressive Here's one of the smaller ones. It's just about nose height to me. And this one is called Paradrovic. It produced black sunflower seeds. And as I pull this netting away, you can kind of see that. I have some better pictures of this one. The sunlight's kind of getting in the way of a good photo. This seed head is very dry now. It's ready for me to harvest. I show you some of the indicators of when your sunflowers are ready to harvest. Here in this area of my garden, I planted another set of four of the types that I have. This one is also paradrovic. I put a mesh bag over it to protect it from the birds. This one here is skyscraper. It's only a little taller than me. Had different growing conditions than in this other area of my yard where it got a lot taller. But the seed head looks really good. I can start to scrape away some of the composite flowers that reveal the seed color. These are looking white and then they're starting to take on that gray stripe that they have as they mature on the seed head. Again, it seems like the birds are not bothering this particular seed head. They're getting their fill elsewhere, which is good. One thing to notice is the back of the sunflower has turned yellow. It's drooping. The flowers, the flower petals, which are bracts, are dry and they're starting to desiccate and fall off. These are all signs that your sunflowers are ready to harvest. Over here in the same quadrant, I have a huge head and this one is the variety called Titan. There it is. This particular plant, I started them all on March 29th. 
then I transplanted them sorry yeah March 29th then I transplanted them April 21st it's really good to label what you've done because you're gonna forget month to month this one you can see it's composite flowers hiding the seeds they're not as easily coming off as the other ones I was touching earlier although it's Brax the flower petals are dry and desiccated and the back of the sunflower is green but it's starting to turn yellow this one I'm gonna wait to harvest I'd like to see it get a little bit more dry before I harvest this head I might go ahead and try to protect it though by covering it with some mesh the um, mesh bags I have are too small for this particular head but I could go ahead and um, cover it with some loose mesh that I have. Pretty impressive. So let's again check out some of the tallest ones I have. So again, above this giant seed head, you can see that it's starting to turn yellow back here. See my fingers from pale green, these large, beautiful uh, petals are very dry now and they're turning away from the yellow color that they used to be. See that. So this one is ready to harvest. I think I'm going to take this one down because um, this one is the only one that I noticed that the seeds were falling out easily. Whoa, okay, about 11.6 pounds. So now I'm gonna take it in through my garage, to the backyard, to an area where it can dry. I've got a concrete table laid out here with a little bit of burlap underneath it. I'm probably gonna wrap this sunflower in the burlap. I have plenty and the seeds are falling out and I want to keep all the seeds. Then I may just dry this in this area. It's got a lot of shade for my shade sails underneath here. You don't want to have the sunflowers or any seed dry in the direct sunlight, but you want to have plenty of airflow like this burlap provides so that the plant material and the seeds themselves can get really nice and dry. So the next sunflower I'm gonna harvest is gonna be this one, the Peridrovic. Like I said, I put these mesh bags, like squeeze them over the ends of this head because I thought for sure the birds were gonna to get to it. But sure enough, they left it alone. It's funny because as you can see, there's a little, there was a wasp earlier and now there's a little ladybug in here. These flower heads, all parts of the plant provide a lot of shelter and a lot of habitat for all kinds of insects and wildlife. It's a pretty big head. I no longer need these leaves, so I'm gonna cut them off. And then like I did with the other head, I'm just gonna wrap it up in this burlap mesh. Okay, now voiceover Lauren's gonna take over. 
It's been four weeks later since I harvested this Titan sunflower head, and now it's time to collect the seeds. First, you're gonna need a jar, some desiccant packets, place them in the jar, and then, lo and behold, just start collecting the seeds. It's as easy as that. At this point, the seeds are very dry and brittle. They can sometimes be a little difficult to take apart, this is a good job for small hands and young people. Here's a close up of what the seed head looks like. Some of the seeds fell out on their own. It might take two or three sittings to get the seeds out of this one if you don't have any help. That's okay, it's going to continue to dry well. Make sure that you've placed a label on top of your seed jar. Whoops. Yeah. You want to make sure you've got the crop type, name, scientific name, location, date saved, seed saver, and any notes on your seed label. That's it. Let's do a little recap. First, examine the flower head. Harvest when bracts, petals, leaves are dry, yellow, faded, and browned. The composite flowers will fall off easily and the back of the flower head is yellow. Next, cut the flower head and cover with burlap or mesh to allow airflow. Store the flower head in an area that is dark, cool, and dry. Three, collect the seeds when they're fully dry, about two to four weeks after harvesting them. Don't forget to save your tags. Last, store your seeds in an airtight container away from light and humidity. Use desiccant packets to reduce moisture. Store in a dark cabinet drawer or even in the refrigerator. Thanks for watching this video. Like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one in our series for easy seed saving. Bye for now.